This is our second video on working with piecewise functions from my Open Math homework problems. We will try to generate the equation of a piecewise function given its graph. When I look at the graph, the graph has three branches. The first branch is from negative 6 to negative 3. So it has to correspond to the first equation. The second branch is from negative 3 to 2 and it has to correspond to the second equation. And the third branch is from 2 to 6 and it has to correspond to the third equation. To define the equation of a line, we need to know the slope of the line and a point on the line, the point x1, y1. And uh, with those two values, you, we can use the point slope form of the line. Which is y minus y1 equals m x minus x1. And we want to solve it for y. So we are going to add y1 to both sides and we will get the equation y equals mx minus x1 plus y1. y is f of x. So in every one of our empty spots, uh, our answer boxes, we will enter the expression to the right of the equal sign. So for every one of the three branches, we have to find the point and its slope. I'm going to start with the branch on the left. The leftmost point of this uh, line segment is negative 6 with 2. So my point will be negative 6, 2. And the slope is the rise over the run between two consecutive points with integer coordinates. This is the next point with integer coordinates and to get there I rise 1 and I run 1. So my slope is 1 over 1 which is equal to 1. So I'm going to apply the formula in my answer box. So it's going to be slope 1 parenthesis x minus the x1 is negative 6 and minus negative 6 is plus 6. So x plus 6 plus the y2 which is 2 and that is the equation of the first branch. The second branch is a horizontal line. Horizontal lines have slope equal to 0 which means mx minus x1 will also equal to 0 and it's not going to be part of our equation. So our equation will only be y equals y1. If I pick any point, let's say this one on the left, which is negative 3 with 4, the y of this point is 4 and the equation is f of x equal to 4. To do the third branch, we need a point and the slope. I'm going to start from this point on the left, coordinates are 2 with 3. So my point will be 2 comma 3 and then I'm going to go from that point to the next point with integer coordinates which is this one and the slope will be rise negative 1 and run positive 2. So the slope is negative 1 over 2 or negative 1 half. I'm ready to apply the formula in my answer. m negative 1 half x minus x1 which is the 2 of my point plus y1 which is the 3 of my point. Now I have all three equations for the three branches of the piecewise function. 